Hi, this is Tweek. On this week's episode of Tweaks with Tweek, we're going to tweak a bowling pin. Does this look like a Halloween mummy to you? Well, it's going to join us. Supplies you'll need for this project are a bowling pin, some cotton batting fabric, some googly eyes, a pair of scissors, lots of hot glue in the glue gun, and some odd pieces of fabric or rubber. Let's get going. To make our bowling pin mummy, we need a bowling pin. If you go to your local bowling alley, they will sell these. We got ours for $3 a piece, or you can buy them in bulk, but we only needed a few, so we got one and we're going to tweak it. Next, you'll need some cotton batting fabric. This stuff is great. It's like fleece. You cut it and it doesn't need any stitching or any extra work just to cut. So I'm going to take this piece, about a yard's worth, and I'm just going to start cutting strips to make my mummy. So here we go. Let's cut some strips of fabric. I'm making random cuts using the full length of the yard of fabric. I'm going to cut a few now and then as I wrap the mummy I will cut more as I need. Make sure your glue gun is fired up because here we go. Scissors over here. Fabric you wait aside we'll need you again. I'm going to take the widest one and start at the bottom of the pin. I'm going to find a spot and add some glue and start rolling it on. This uh, bowling pin has got a plastic outer shell wood on the inside and I found that the uh, glue gun works great with it. I'm not coming all the way to the bottom because they're a little bit tipsy anyway so I don't want to add more tipsy to the pin. So that's adhered. Now I'm just going to start rolling it. Come along. It doesn't have to be symmetrical or anything. Just you're just rolling it along like you would a mummy. I want to get it covered first. You're gonna use a lot of glue, so the little folds in it are just fine. Now I'm gonna start working my way up. After I get the, the pin covered, the fabric will really stick to itself. So it's this first layer that needs more glue to keep everything in place. I'm going to start going like this. I'm going to start working my way up. Then you can get quite a ways. And then I'll give it another tack. Which I'm me so far. Right, another strip. I'll pick up where I left off. Add some to the cloth and some to the pin. And then just keep working our way around. Let it fold, let it pucker, it's all fine. I'm thinking, I'm gonna, those are thinner ones I wanna use for later. I'm gonna cut out another few thicker, wider strips. It's, um, your fingers are protected pretty well because the cotton batting is so thick, but still be careful you are using a glue gun. You don't want to get burned. It's starting to angle up a little bit around his head. We're going to do the top. We're going to cover that up and then come back around. Just going to keep winding, winding like a mummy would be wound. Got the pucker up there. That's all right. Add a little more glue. Watch your fingers. Okay. I'm going to come around and down like that. So let me give lots of glue. See how it's starting to stick to me and the gun? That's fine. Okay. So far, 
We've got them covered. Now I'm just going to keep bringing this stuff around. You don't have to worry so much about the glue once it's attached to the pin because the fabric's really, see, it almost sticks to itself. And now it's just a matter of winding around and winding around till you get a look that you like. See how the fabric sticks to the glue then. Stretch it a little bit. If it rips, that looks even better. Okay, with this far, now's time. It's all st sticking. Good. Now it's time to add some features, and then I'm going to wind some more. In fact, I got one, two. Cut a few more. Anticipate needing them. This is where I want to start making a little bit thinner strips. A couple of those, and then I'm going to cut a wider one, and we're going to make some. Hands, hands and arms. I'm just gonna cut a four inch strip. Get out of the way for a minute. I'm gonna cut that in half, right down the middle. What I'm gonna do is start rolling this up. Let's do one at a time here. Roll it up, and I'm gonna fashion an arm. And then work my way down to the fingers and the hand. In fact, let's start with the fingers first. It's probably simpler. I'm going to cut thumb, finger, finger, finger. One, two, three, four. Oh, missed one. You think that's going to work? Might not. Let's find out. What I want to do here is each finger. I'm going to put a little strip of glue towards the base of the finger. And I'm very carefully, because this glue is hot, just scrunch the fabric together. Okay? And let it meld. Okay? I'm going to add a little more down here at the base, because that's the thumb. And we do that to each finger. See how it's going to turn out. All right, so this one, I'm not too concerned about the top because I'm going to angle out the fingers. They've got bony fingers. I'm not concerned about it being too skinny. Here again, just pinch like a cotton and very hot, dangerous glue sandwich. I can add more in if I need to. Right now, you're just concerned about getting your links that will be the fingers. I probably will add a little more. I'm going to start folding in. And before I do that, I'm going to take a little bit of extra. Let's see, who can I take an extra from? One of these pieces here. I'm going to cut a little bit. I just want a little bit of padding in where his palm would be. So just put a little blob of glue, a little bit of more cotton. Just let it sit there. Oop. Okay, now we're going to start folding in. That's why I started with the hands first, because then we go straight up the arm and glue all the way. And just playing around with the fabric till you get a shape that you like. Luckily, mummies come in every size and shape. So no matter how you make yours, it's going to look great. So I'll keep going here. Yeah, I'm going to add a little more to the fingers. It can be square if you want. It's a mummy. Glue on his tip of his finger there. You could add wire to these if you wanted them to be posable. I didn't get that far. Oh, they move. Oh, oh. Okay, and flip them over and you have a hand. It's big. It's scary. I'm going to make another one just like it for the other side. 
Okay, here we go. Okay, so we've got his two hands. Look, at they aren't the same, but there's a right hand, left hand, and that's all we need. So find on your mummy which area, I think that looks like his face. So I'm gonna focus on that by putting his arms left side. I'm gonna let it come around. Yeah. And I know his hands are gigantic, but that's all right. I kind of think that's cute. I don't know whether I should fold it around. I think that's what I'll do. Or cut it and meet the two arms. Let me see the other one. I'm going to cut your arms. It might hurt a little. Save back this extra fabric because we can use it to help fashion his mummy face. Okay, so now... Coming around here, there's still a little bit excess. That's all right, lots of glue. Okay, I'm gonna lay them down and do some extra glue work here. Putting it on are trying to. There we go. Be careful, it's hot. Right. I'm not gluing his hands down just yet because I'm going to keep winding around him. So here's what we have so far. He has two flopsy arms, big old hands. You know what? Maybe that does need an elbow. Yep, we're gonna put an elbow in there. Whatever. Here we go. Take some glue, stick it to the fabric, and fashion yourself an elbow. And that also brings his hands up a little more even. Here we go again. I'm grabbing some of the thinner slips, strips this time. The ends are the ones that get the glue now. This way again. Oh, his alarm got, it did get busted. Oh boy. I'm gonna come around. Now, to do his eyes. I knew I wanted two googly eyes, but I knew I wanted them to mostly not to be functional. Like a mummy doesn't get to really see where he's going. So I'm going to, let me see, I gotta look at him and see where I wanna glue his eyes. Before I glue those on, I wanted to put a little black around them, back up. So I'm just gonna cut out a piece, just kind of random, see the shape? And then I'm just gonna very carefully go in half. So that makes the piece even more random and kind of weird, and that's what I want. It doesn't have to be real thick, and just really letting the piece end up being what it is. And then I put it up here to see if that's what I want. So does he really need two eyes or just one that's blacked out? So I just take the googly eye and glue it to the piece. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. He's gonna get two eyes, but he's not gonna be able to see very well. He doesn't get to, he's a mummy. That's why I wondered about people running after mummies, because they can't get you. I 
really. Okay, there's an eye. See, I'm being kind of haphazard about it. I just want some darkness around the little googly eye. They don't have to be symmetrical. You can be however you want them to be. Kind of look like banded eyes. Now I'm going to put them, affix them to the face. See how they're really just misshapen. I like that. Here, let me put them down this way so we can start it. We know this is the front. And we know we want to place his eyes someplace up in there. I'm stuck with glue and cotton. So one eye is going to go here. A little blob of glue. One eye is going to go here. What you have now? Not super scary, is he? Mm -mm. I wouldn't run from you. So now we need to wrap some more. But before I do that, I'm going to add what looks like maybe brows. I'm just using up random pieces of the of the uh, cotton to build up his eyes. Ow! We didn't have to burn me there, mummy. Let's put it on the fabric this time. Oops. I'm covering up his eyes a little bit. Now I'm going to wrap him some more. Ugh. Got two more, three more here. I might use them all. I'm going to go with the skinnier one. I'm going to start up around his head and I'm just going to start wrapping. I'm not really even going to pay much attention to his eyeballs because I'm yet, not yet sure how much I want him to be able to see. We're that far. I want to use up a little more. When do you stop? You stop when you like what you see. I'm thinking, yep. I'm looking for areas where I want more crisscross fabric. I don't want it to look so uniform. I want it to be more messy. I think we're done, except we've got to add a couple more things. So this last piece here, I'm going to tuck underneath that piece there. Tuck, tuck, tuck. I'll add a little bit of glue to secure it. I want a little bit of a nose area. So what I'm doing here is just tucking fabric in there, see? And I'm blocking up his vision a little more. Sorry. I really don't want you chasing anybody, do I? Okay. <laughs> now he needs a mouth. And for that, I took a piece of black wire. See how this is just a piece of random wire I had kicking around? I thought that would make a really cute, creepy mouth. You know, they had kind of their mouths I think they were sewn up. So I take my wire cutter and I'm going to cut this down a little bit. Go to the junk drawer and find bits of wire. Turn it into a mummy mouth. It almost represents teeth. And it, I want him to be friendly. So I'm just going to take some glue and just knock it in there and I might add a little more uh, probably not fabric because we're almost done so a little bit of glue right there it's really hard to do this when you're standing up and a little bit of glue over there and one thing I didn't do for my other mummy that I made I'm going to give you some cheeks. To help hide your little mouth area there. You need cheeks? Maybe. He's friendly. 
its cheeks. I don't like them. Don't use them. There. Yeah, his cute factor just went up. You got cheeks, buddy. Or they could be considered band-aids. <laughs> <laughs> Am I done with you? Are you done? What do you think? Is he done? Let's add one more thing. Yeah, I made a little teeny sign out of like tongue depressors. And he's going to be holding this creepy little sign. So I only need to glue it in a couple spots. And then he's ready. <laughs> I'm just going to glue it right to his tummy. A little bit of glue and he's gonna be ready <laughs> you can fashion his fingers however you want you can glue a few of them I'll glue one right here you can be pointing with that one so putting a little dab of glue on the tip of his finger and that's where you can decide how you want his hand even to look is it moving is it resting what is it doing all right what do you think <laughs> and there you have it <laughs> we've taken a bowling pin and made a most adorable mummy uh, he has no legs we really can't chase you but he'd make a great doorstop or very nice Halloween decoration. So if you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and remember to ring the bell so that you know when the next episode of Tweaks with Tweak is coming along. Until then, have some fun. Go to your bowling alley, play a few games, and get some pins, and make some really neat Halloween decorations. See you again. <laughs>